Hey folks, this is a commentary on a GBC module, which I call the Fountain. It is a fancy implementation of a pretty simple mechanism, and I will go over the implementation details as well as the trade-offs of using this mechanism. So this is the core mechanism of this GBC. And just to be clear, I did not design this mechanism. Uh, you can find my source in the video description. As you can see, this is a very simple design. It is just two lift arms rotating on a cross axle. The tricky part of coming up with this was probably getting all of the geometry and spacing correct. So kudos to the designer for figuring that out. Looking at the LDD model for my implementation, you can see that ball pump down there and all of the relevant geometry. In my model, the main drive shaft also turns this crank, which turns my agitator, and more on that in a bit. Here you can see the pump in action. What's happening is that one lift arm uh, positions the ball, and the second lift arm kicks it up. And the pressure of more balls from the feeder prevent the ball that's getting kicked from sliding back. You can also see the crank for the agitator, which turns rotational movement into a back and forth motion. When I first came across this design, I really liked it not only for the simplicity, but also for the extensibility. Uh, in the sense that if you want to make it taller, all you need to do is extend the tube, and it can be as tall as your pump is strong, basically. The pump also works pretty well for the most part and is at least as reliable as any other GBC module. Of course, one of the main downsides is that once you load up the machine, it'll always have some balls stuck in that tube and it won't be able to empty itself out. Also, the pump can only run in one direction which can be a problem when hooking up multiple GBCs to a single power source. Furthermore, because the pump needs to be fed one ball at a time, you need an agitator such that large loads of balls don't jam up at the entrance of the pump. So this becomes a situation where the core mechanism is deceptively simple because the supporting stuff still needs to be complicated. And it's not necessarily trivial to make a good agitator. This one works well when there's a lot of balls, but it can trap the last one or two. Finally, there's a fun little feature built into this thing where you can tip the exit ramp the other way, such that the machine feeds back into itself and it becomes its own standalone GBC thing. And on that note, this is the end of the commentary. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.